Hello again, and happy spring. It's finally spring through most of America. Well, today I'm going to talk about how to save the monarch butterfly. Years ago, there used to be millions and millions and millions of monarch butterflies fluttering all over America in the springtime, doing their annual migration from Mexico all the way up to Canada for their nesting grounds in the summertime. Unfortunately, 80% of the monarchs have been wiped out by habitat loss and excessive use of pesticide. And so this animal that you know you and I used to enjoy as a youth everywhere is nowhere near as common as what it used to be. So what can you do to kind of help it bounce back? Well, I always encourage my clients and everybody plant milkweed. It's the simplest, easiest way to do it. And here's some really quick tips on how to plant milkweed to get some more monarch butterflies and other butterflies growing in your garden. All right, so you saw in the earlier part of this video why it's important for us to do our part to help the monarch butterfly thrive all across America. Here's what you can do today. I like planting Asclepius in my garden. This is an incredibly important plant. So this is milkweed, both the original and the Curvasa. And what's great about these is when you plant them together, you get a couple different colors of yellows and oranges. These are incredibly important plants for butterfly habitat. So today, I'm going to plant a couple of new ones right here next to my butterfly bush. Now this is the wonderful Buddleia divini that is a great food for the butterfly bush. This is a great habitat plant for the butterfly bush, and I like to pair them up in gardens. So pop them out of the can, rough up the roots, put them in the hole, do the same with the other one, pop them out of the can. Make sure you rough up those roots so the roots will go horizontal instead of spiraling around and put them down in the hole. You want them nice and even to grade. Now, once they're in the hole, wonderful product, and I'll talk more about this at the next video. I like to throw in some slow release fertilizer called Best Packs. So, for one gallon, I just need a couple in the planting hole. My dog, Ginger, is doing a wonderful job inspecting my planting technique. Good job, Ginger. Let me finish up here. Yes, you are wonderful. Can I finish things? Okay. Let me finish, dog. Okay, so throw a few best packs in there. Then we want to throw a little grow mulch into the hole as well. This is a wonderful planting medium. Um, and also adds a little bit of fertilizer. So I'm going to throw that in. Mix in some of the native soil and kind of put it back in and we're going to have a wonderful, wonderful butterfly garden right here in this part of my garden with the butterfly bush and the butterfly weed and the milkweed here. It's going to be great and I'm doing my part to help the monarch butterfly survive and thrive. So after planting it and giving a good soaking and add some mulch, a few months later, look what we have here. We have some monarchs have found it already and they are fluttering and thriving. And most important of all, they're not just enjoying the nectar for a fuel source to help them with their migration, but they're also laying their eggs. And those eggs eventually become those really cool, really awesome striped caterpillars that are, are really I think just so enchanting in the garden as well and so this is that very same bush just a couple months later and we have all different size monarch caterpillars on it from the big fat ones to the even the little ones if you look really carefully on this one plant there's a number of them so it's a really cool play cool way to help the monarch bounce back plant milkweed another important thing is to also keep in mind to not use pesticides in your garden because butterflies are very sensitive to that and if you do that you know cut down the pesticides plant some milkweed you also have bees coming back so the bees also love this milkweed as well so it's a great plant for bees and not just mother uh, monarchs you know lots of butterflies love 
milkweed. Um, here's a morning cloak butterfly that was also hanging out right on that butterfly bush right next to the milkweed as well. So a great plant. Here's a link for some of the other great butterfly plants I recommend if you want to do a butterfly garden in your backyard. And it's really enchanting, especially if you have kids, to see all these different butterflies fluttering all over your garden. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. And of course, subscribe to the Two Minute Gardener to see more of my videos. Until next time, this is Doug the Two Minute Gardener saying thanks so much for watching.